Hello and welcome to the Proface Connect video tutorial series. The topic of this video will be the introduction to Proface Connect. In this video, we will discuss what is the Proface Connect product, the capabilities and functionality of the product, and what to expect after you purchase Proface Connect. And we will demonstrate how to log in to the configuration web page. We'll first discuss the main concepts for the Proface Connect product. Proface Connect makes the Proface HMIs and industrial PCs able to be remotely reached through the internet. It allows operations such as programming, meaning uploading or downloading, monitoring using something like the ladder monitor in GP Pro EX, and remote viewing using GP Viewer EX, executed from any remote location as if you are on site. And there is an extended option that will extend the above functions to external devices. This could be PLCs, drives, stepper motors, temperature controllers, and the like, if they are connected via Ethernet. And Proface Connect is a secure method for remote access. The connection method is based on TLS protocol and the X.509 security certificate standard. And the data is encrypted using AES. And the login uses two-factor authentication, a personal certificate and user credentials. Proface Connect has a unique value. And we'll look at it in two different categories. The first is as a secure remote access solution. It allows for firmware and application uploading and downloading. This could be to the HMIs or connected devices. It allows for remote programming and diagnostics, remote control and monitoring of the HMI and connected devices. And it uses either ethernet or wireless for connectivity. Although additional cellular 3G and 4G connections are available using add-on USB devices. And it has a secure point-to-point -point connection. And the software machine connection, which is the site manager, is platform agnostic, meaning it doesn't require a certain version of Windows in order to operate. And the second category is as a new business model for remote access. The Proface Connect product uses access on demand, meaning there is no downtime for this. Once you have everything configured, you can log into the secure website and then connect to your configured devices. And this is a subscription based product and the benefits are only discontinued or disabled the day the subscription expires if they are not renewed. So this is a opt out subscription instead of an opt in and you pay per usage. That means that you would pay for only the features or functionality that you need to use instead of any unwanted or unneeded products. And there's easy online ordering. We use a web portal that is similar to our Proface web store, only tailored specifically for the Proface Connect product. When you purchase a product, it includes a free trial period of 30 days. And this is a simple offer with recurrent services, meaning that you just pay an annual fee to retain all of the products that you've already purchased. And the software machine connection is included in the HMI software, meaning when you update to the latest version of GP Pro EX, you simply would download the application to the HMI and the remote connection back to the gate manager is included. But the full software solution is available for download from our Proface website. And here's an overview of the general architecture for the product. We first have our gate manager, which is a cloud server where you would log in to configure your licenses, users, and connected devices. And this is done via a secure remote connection. Then we have the site manager, which is the service or utility that is installed either on the HMIs and industrial PCs that will allow access to these devices and also any connected devices over ethernet, be it PLCs, robots, or temperature controllers. And then we have the link manager, which allows a technician to remotely connect to these configured devices to either monitor or transfer an application, whatever permissions that you will give to it. And all this is done over the internet across a secure connection. So you could have your administrator on the West Coast, 
your operators on the East Coast and the units somewhere in Canada, and everything would be accessible from those respective locations. So now we'll cover a few tools and terminology for the ProFace Connect product. Hopefully this will clarify a few things. First, we have our license portal, which is the online web store that allows for the sales and license management for the ProFace Connect components. This is a web-based tool that's able to deliver these additional licenses, be it a trial, additional options, or expanded license purchase. And this uses a secure login via user credentials. And then we have the gate manager, and this is the cloud server for ProFace Connect. This allows customers to manage their remote installations, be it the HMIs or industrial PCs, allocate any purchase licenses, create additional users, or add new options to current licenses. And this uses a secure login that requires a security certificate and a user password. And then we have the site manager. And this is the embedded component or service that is loaded onto the HMI or industrial PC that will allow remote access to that device. And it will be installed automatically on an HMI when you download with GP Pro EX. There is no additional options required inside of the development software in order to enable this. And finally, there is the link manager. And this is the software component that will be installed on a technician's or operator's laptop or PC at a remote location. And this also uses a secure login. However, the security certificate and password are different than the ones used for the gate manager. And the offer essentially is three components and a tool. The first component is the site manager which is the service or utility running on the device, be it an HMI or industrial PC that allows for remote access. The second is the gate manager, which is the cloud server that allows you to administer or configure your connections, licenses, and users. And the third is the link manager, which allows an operator to remotely connect to devices running the site manager. And all this is done across the internet using a secure connection. And then the tool is our license portal, which allows for purchasing or modification of the licenses. And of course, ProFace America technical support and customer care services are always here to assist in any needs. Summarize the key points. It's easy to use. It's embedded already on current HMI units just from a download of the software and a one-time setup that will allow for continuous monitoring and updates. There's no need for extra cables or space. It requires less engineering time because as long as the device, be it the HMI or industrial PC, is connected via Ethernet and can get to the outside world, there is no additional hardware setup required. And there's no need for extra training of personnel. You'll use the same familiar hardware, be it an industrial PC or HMI, and the software, be it GP Pro EX, GP Viewer, the Ladder Monitor, or PLC development software. And this is cheaper than traditional VPN solutions. And it supports the VXWorks platform, which is a real-time operating system, where most competitors would support a Windows platform only. Now we look at what to expect after you purchase the product. So once you purchase a ProFace Connect product, you will receive two email messages. The first message will be titled, ProFace Connect License Portal. And that email will contain the product descriptions of the different options or licenses that you purchased, your customized domain name, and the information for the gate manager. The second message will be titled Gate Manager, and that email will contain your gate manager security certificate, the password for that certificate, the Gate Manager Administrator login URL, a Getting Started Guide URL, and the address for the Gate Manager and its domain token. So let's look at these emails now and go through connecting to the Gate Manager website for the first time. So I've logged into my email and I see that I have my messages for the ProFace Connect product. So I'll first look at the bottom one, which is the ProFace Connect license portal message. 
this is essentially an invoice for the products that I've purchased. Um, it also includes not only the descriptions, but when the order was placed in the PO and any additional information. The import pieces are going to be located under the gate manager information section. It will give us our host name, our license ID, and our domain. If I go back to my inbox and I look at my gate manager email, this here gives us the information that we need in order to connect to the gate manager web page. You will first see an attachment, which is your Proface Connect gate manager certificate. And I am going to download that. The next is the password for the certificate and it is located about halfway down in the message. And then we have the URL, which is right below the password for the gate manager. And then at the very bottom, we have our gate manager address and the domain token. These pieces of information are important when you configure a device to connect to remotely. And then towards the top will be a link for a getting started guide. So now that I've downloaded my certificate, I'm going to click on the link to get to the gate manager. And once it comes up, I'm going to snap my browser to the left side of my screen. And I'm going to drag this tab off and create a new page. Snap it to the right. That way I can look at my email message and log into the gate manager at the same time. And for the gate manager login, we see we have two options. We can either enter a certificate or give a username. Our recommendation is always to use a certificate if possible. Uh, if no certificate is selected, it will come up and say choose file. And I will click on that and I will browse to my downloads. And I will select my certificate. And the checkbox at the bottom, remember certificate. This is important. If you uncheck that box, every time you go to log in, you will have to browse for your security certificate. If you move the certificate, it will require you to locate it. So it remembers the path and the name of the certificate if you check that box. And then below that, whether we select certificate or username will be a field for password that we have to enter. So I'm gonna copy my password out of my message, paste it in here and click login. And now that I'm logged in, I will maximize this page. So we can see it. And the gate manager is broken up into two panes. On the left hand side is a tree list. And this tree list contains all of the configured users of any selected or purchased licenses and any configured or connected devices. And then on the right hand side is any information uh, for the selected option. It starts by default with the startup wizard which you can use to configure link managers or site managers. And we will get into this, what the startup wizard does in another video. And then to the far right will be three buttons, my account, about, and log off. The only important one over here that we need to look at is the my account. And then here it gives us options for the preferences for the browser, which is this browser only. It will not apply if I logged in on another PC or even with another browser. For example, I'm using Chrome right now, but if I log in with Internet Explorer or Firefox, these settings will not carry over. Then you have your personal account settings, which would be any personal information you want to put in for contact information, for example. And if you want to change the password that was provided in your email, this is where you would do it. And then you have local certificate storage. This is that security certificate we use for login. We can delete it from here and it will require you to select it the next time that you log in. So for example, if you get a new security certificate and you want to make sure that it's selecting the new one, you would delete here and then select the new one when you go to log in the next time. I'll click on tree to get back to the original view. And then I will click on my top account, which is the administrator account. And you see when I do that, I get some additional information on the right hand side. I get the account information. For example, the type of authentication, the duration, meaning 
how long is this account valid? You can select up to six months. A mail template if you want to use it, any message. Uh, if you want to change your password or renew your certificate and your contact information as well. And then any joined domains, which it would be the only the one, which of course on the tree list is at the very top. Your usage information and the audit information. And this is any actions that you've taken under this account. So for example, we see that the licenses were added, the user has logged on and logged off a couple of times, the date and time, the domain, and any information. If I click on a license, you see over here, under the license tab, it gives me a description, which I can change. It also tells you the floating. That's how many licenses you have available. So for example, this one says 15 free of 15. So that means I haven't used any of them and they're available. Now to elaborate a little bit on the license information in the tree list, you'll see that you have basically your order number essentially and what type of license it is and how many agents are available. And we'll get into agents in a later video. And then there is a number and this number is the unique identifier for this specific license. So when you go to look at this and when we do the configuration and advanced features in later videos, this ID number will come in handy in order to identify what license is being used on what device. And you'll see to the far right of the name right after the icon is a number. In this case, it says 15. What that is, is that is the total number of licenses that were purchased, not that are available, but have been purchased. In order to see how many are available, you have to click on the individual license and look under the floating section here. And just like with my account, I see what join domains the license is available for, any session information, and the audit information for these licenses. And in a later video, when we get to configuring devices, those devices and users will show up here. We'll see devices at the bottom, and any additional users will show up under the administrator. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact ProFace America Technical Support by phone at 1-800-289-9266, option 2, or by email support at profaceamerica.com. You can also visit our website, profaceamerica.com, for manuals, drivers, product FAQs, and other product and software information. Thanks again, and have a great day.